I want to I want to say I you know I should have met you when you were here in Salt Lake City. That's where I'm from, and Casey uh-huh. Stroh and I are like best friends. And I never ever went to the set for a visit. So hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I had such an amazing time in Utah. Those are, you know, some of my favorite memories of my life um, are there. So, yeah, it's it's a wonderful place, and and uh, we we all loved uh, Andy Mack and and everything that you did. The Spoon out in Magna. Uh, there's a Magna. That's, <laughs> that's, that's going to be called the Andy Mack uh, Cafe. Uh, I oh. think from now on. <laughs> but let's uh, let's chat a little bit about uh, about the uh, secret society. Um, tell me a little bit about getting the role. Did you audition for it? Did they come to you and say, "Hey, we have this role"? Yeah. So I was actually sent the script, um, and I read it and fell in love with the story and fell in love with the characters. And then I met with the creators and the writers and sort of talked to them about, you know, my vision for it and what I thought I could bring to the character Sam into the film as a whole. And then um, I sort of joined forces with them and we moved forward to cast it. And Niles, how about you? How did you find the role? That's where I came in. They, you know, they found their their princess of Illyria, and you know, then it was time to find everybody else. And uh, you know, I did about three different auditions in front of a bunch of different people, and uh, then I came in for my chemistry read, and I was sent the wrong lines to learn. Uh, not just the wrong lines, the wrong character to learn. I uh, <laughs> didn't realize it till in the uh, audition room. So I had like 15, 20 minutes before going in. Uh, you know, because I asked the casting director for a little bit more time because I had to learn like four or five pages. And I just uh, went into a corner and just started working out and like, you know, going over lines, like doing push ups. Like uh, Isabella, who plays January, uh, she always talks about it because she, uh, I remember her walking to the bathroom and looking, looking at me like I was crazy. And I, I for sure looked crazy. I'm in a, I'm in, in my audition outfit doing push ups on the floor without shoes on. I for <laughs> sure looked crazy. Uh, but, it worked, and here we are. <laughs> Do you find that the role is 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 athletic? I mean, you. Yeah, I, I think the Tuma's character in general is very athletic, and like to me, how I thought about him, I thought I I viewed him like a Will Smith, like Fresh Prince uh, of Bel Air, uh, but now he's a superhero. So for me, he is athletic, and I was 120 pounds at the time. So you know, I got myself up to 146, and I, I think at the highest I was you know, 150, 155, something like that when I was in Toronto. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, he is an athletic character, and uh, I think he looked like one, too. Now, now you both have done incredible series. I mean, This Is Us and and Andy Mack. Do you prefer the, 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 the motion picture to a series, or do you like series because your character can be developed over a period of time? Yeah, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I feel like you can't really compare them. They're just such different experiences, you know. With a series, you grow together over a long period of time, you know, and you you figure everything out, and then by the middle of the first season or maybe the second season, you know, everything's figured out, and it's just a well-oiled machine, you know. Mm -hmm. But with a film, everything's much faster and you don't have as long to get to know each other. Um, And every day there's a new set of challenges that you have to tackle, um, which is kind of fun in a sense though, because the whole thing's an adventure. Um, So I would say I love them both for different reasons. And I don't know that I could say like one more than the other. (laughs) How about you now? I prefer good work. That's it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I don't care whether it's on TV, screen, radio, a print ad, you know, as as long as you know it's something, you know, I, that's that's of of you know of substance. You know, I'm 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 an actor. I'll do it. I've got ten seconds left, so I'm going to say thank you guys so much. Come and back, visit us in Salt Lake City. Bring Niles with you. We'll 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 have a party. We'll go to In and Out Burger. They're just <laughs> opening up. <here. laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. This celebrity interview is sponsored by. I'm Annette Severella with Pia Anderson Moss Hoyt, Utah's leading entertainment law firm serving clients nationwide. We provide solid, attentive representation focusing on minimizing risk, reducing cost, and protecting the reputation and privacy of our clients. 
Our goal is to provide you with the legal representation you need to make the right decisions and to protect you and your creative works. Call or email me for a free consultation.